Welcome to the International Prayer House of Jesus Christ. My name is Minister Monique, and um, I kind of created the International Prayer House of Jesus Christ because at some point in my life, I, I just needed prayer. I needed prayer, and, you know, I realized through trying prayer out that it, it actually worked, and um most of the time, many times in my life, I never really had anybody there, you know, and sometimes I felt hopeless. I felt like, you know, my luck was gone. I thought maybe I had did the, you know, the indestructible in my life to where there were no more doors open for me in, in, in my financial situations, um, just many things that, you know, just caused a lot of heartache and downfalls in my life. And so I decided I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray because I don't want to take my my life. I want to live. I want to live, but I'm not living. Life has to be more than this. But life is worth living. So what is living? And at some points in my life, I did not know what living really was until I prayed. So I decided to pray for the hopelessness that I was feeling. It felt like a thousand monkeys was on my back. It felt like I had enemies on all sides, from family to so-called friends, neighbors, people I met in the street. Um, I had past hurts from like high school, being bullied. Um, just being rejected most of my entire life. So I decided to pray. I decided to pray and I decided to pray having faith. I decided to pray believing that God would answer my prayer. I did not know how he would answer it. I just wanted him to answer it. I wanted him to do his will in my life because I realized that the things that I wanted in my life were most of the time not for me. It caused more enemies. It caused more heartbreak, failure, uh, disappointments, not only in my life, but my children's lives sometimes, you know, in the past. So I was like, you know what? I know I'm only human. And I know, you know, human beings do make mistakes, but you know what? Life has got to be more than this. And so I decided to pray. And I prayed and I didn't stop. Sometimes I, I couldn't eat. I fasted. Because I wanted God to answer me so badly. I, I refused to eat. Like I, I um, would fast. You know, I would fast and I would pray and nonstop. I remember praying all day one time, all day for a self-deliverance. I didn't know any preachers, really. I didn't know anybody um, to call on. I didn't have a phone long ago. I mean, I prayed all day. I wasn't a preacher, a prophet like I am now. I mean, well, I was. you're always what you are before you're born, okay? Get that right. But... I didn't know that. I was just a normal person having all these problems who didn't even know who I was, you know. And it just seemed like all the odds were against me. It seemed like every door in the world was closed. And I was down and out. And I felt like I was in a box that was dark. And the air was leaving out of that box. But you know what? I can put my whole entire life on what I'm about to say. My prayers got answered. And you know what? Prayer works. God really hears your prayer. Sometimes it took months for my prayer to be answered. You know, sometimes it took a little longer than months. It took some years. But God answered my prayer. When I have forgotten about some prayers that God, you know, that I prayed to God about, God still remembered my prayer. 
And he answered it. He answered my prayer. I didn't even know sometimes when he did. It just came. But when it came, and it came back to me, my, that I prayed about this long ago, I'm like, wait a minute, God has been here. Oh my God, God's been here. He was there the whole entire time. But he answered it. And he, 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 his promises are for life. He has never failed me. My life is not perfect. And my life is better than it's ever been. Ever, ever been. And it all came from prayer. Simple prayer. I was no big time prayer warrior praying all of these, um, you know, big worded prayers and all oh, this and that. I was not that kind of person. Me, my love talk with God is talking like I'm talking to you. I would be just talking to God. Like me and him are staring at each other like, look, you know, and I would just talk to talk. Sometimes I had real little faith, but I never stopped believing that God could answer my prayer. Sometimes disaster would happen to me, like real disaster. Sometimes people that I loved would come against me so hard they would make Others that uh, knew me turn against me. They had never even spoke to me in years. But because of a word or some things that it came from a loved one, it, I must be true, you know. And then that would affect me way where I was living. And I wouldn't even know what was said. I would just know that all these people, you know, didn't like me or I wouldn't know till after the fact, you know. <laughs> and I would just be like, wow, what in the world? I know you don't have to do anything to be put into situations. And if you was a person like I was someone who was always in these different dumb scenarios and 90% of the time, well, I ain't going to say 90, 80% of the time, you don't even know how you got there because you really don't talk to a lot of people and you might always be at home sometimes and and it could be happening in another state or somewhere else you hadn't even been to in a while and all kinds of drama has evolved and your presence has not even been there or are you somebody you know who just had doors were just closed financially you could only get so far. You you want to do a business and it would only go so far. It seemed like it was getting ready to make it and it would crash at the brink of making it. If you're that kind of person, you need to pray. I pray for a lot of people, but I used to not pray for me. Like I used to just be praying for other people, but I wasn't praying for myself. And people say, oh, pray for me. And I tell people, pray for yourself too. Because you can have a self-deliverance when no one in the world is thinking about you. When your phone is not ringing, and I'm telling you this because I've been there. My phone didn't ring for two years sometimes in my life in the past. When friends that I loved with all my heart come in your face and turn on you when you need them the most. When you are left in true darkness like when you feel like you don't have nobody you need to pray for yourself because you have power to pray for yourself I didn't always know about Jesus like that but thankfully I had an uncle that took me to church when I was little and it stayed with me and it helped me when I got older and in my hard times and you know I read the word I read it every day and I prayed. And when, when I prayed, I wasn't looking for an answer from nobody else. I was only looking for an answer from God. And I also prayed that he do his will and do whatever he wanted with me. And it doesn't mean that God's going to make disaster happen to you. He actually loves you. He loves me. He loves every human being. 
He even loves the birds. He loves ants, but he loves you. Why wouldn't he answer your prayer? You know, the enemy doesn't want you to pray. He definitely don't want you to pray for yourself. He don't want you to pray for your kids. He don't want you to pray for nothing, you know. But if you've been there and you've been down and you need answers, prayer works, okay? Prayer works. But when you're praying, don't don't tell people what you're praying about. Just tell God. Sometimes that can be hard because I used to tell people, oh, you know, I'm praying about this and that. People are not for you. Everybody's not for you. There are some people that genuinely are. But when you're seeking that answer from God, no one can get the credit for it. And you want God to really help you. Don't tell nobody what your prayer is. You pray to God and you keep praying. You keep praying. And yes, when two or three, uh, you know, agree and more people gather, you know, more power in the prayer, okay? But I'm trying to teach somebody that when there's nobody around and it's just you in that dark space in life, that life is worth living. That prayer works. Prayer can open doors that nobody can open. Like, it can. It can open some doors that um, you thought by hanging with this person, that's how the door is going to get open. But God tells you, stop hanging with them. I remember I prayed so much and I was seeking God so much. He He did something to my eyes. I couldn't even watch TV. Like he was revealing things that was behind the things that made the shows and I mean, I couldn't watch TV for a very long time. I couldn't drink certain bottles of water. I couldn't eat certain food. Like, I couldn't walk on certain spaces on the ground. Like, I was in some serious prayer. And it was just me. Car crashes was happening around me. All kind of stuff. All kinds of stuff. But I'm, I'm still here. God is real. And this thing is real. There's some major warfare out there you don't even know about that's going on against you, uh, you know, against me, against people to get us up, uh, wipe us out off the earth, you know, don't want us to know about God doing everything necessary to get you out of here. And if you're a praying person, they don't want you here. It's some major warfare going on. And I ask you today, will you be a soldier, a soldier in the army of the Lord? Will you pray for yourself? Will you have a self-deliverance today? Will you think that God can deliver you? That God can give you a house with a deed with your name on it? That God can just set you free in your own home. It ain't even always about material stuff. Some people can't even live in their own home in peace. And sometimes they don't even have nobody else living there but them. And they can't live in peace in their own home. And no one is there but them. So I ask you today. Join me in praying for yourself. Don't forget to pray for other people. But don't forget about praying for yourself. And you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget to join the International Prayer House of Jesus Christ on Facebook. God loves you.